This woman from Tamil Nadu's Pudukote district ran from pillar to post to rescue her family member trapped in Myanmar. After a great ordeal, her family members finally reached home along with other victims on October 5. Cyber criminals in Myanmar trapped 16 people, 13 from Tamil Nadu, through a fake job scam. All these victims were promised jobs in Dubai, but taken to Thailand. They were later trafficked into Myanmar, where they were held as slaves and abused. Finally, Myanmar's military rescued them. But after crossing River Moi in the Myanmar-Thailand border, they were left to fend for themselves. They hiked 10 km to cross the dense forest and reached a main road where the Thai military detained them. They were held for 28 days in the Mysore and Bangkok before being brought to India. Here's what the victims shared with the federal. The unsuspecting victims were taken to Mysore, a city in Thailand bordering Myanmar. None of them suspected anything amiss as the arrangements were good and they were treated well. They realized that they were in Myanmar only after reaching the company building which was 10 minutes from the other bank of River Moi bordering Thailand and Myanmar. Once there, things took a drastic turn. They were forced to lure customers for cryptocurrency investments through dating, matrimonial and social media applications. Here's how one of the victims recounted her ordeal in an exclusive to the Federal. When the victims questioned this treatment, they were told that they had been bought as slaves for $5,000 each. To their utter shock, they were told that they would be set free only if they paid back that amount. One of the victims, Akshay and his brother, managed to pay the money and escaped to India. They went on to help the other Indians held captive by the cyber criminals. However, it was not an easy journey for the others as the Thai military detained them. They came together to release a video seeking help. It caught the attention of the Tamil Nadu government, which came to their rescue. Tamil Nadu non-resident Tamil's welfare, refugees and evacuees minister K.S. Mastan said the government would initiate an investigation with the victims' inputs and track the fake agents and book them according to law. Prabhakar for the Federal Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more interesting updates.